Okay, now that we are uh, gross old people now. Um, so the total time that it took to uh, to rip Skyrim to directly to the hard drive was 26 minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, 12.95 gigabytes. Uh, hopefully if everything worked you'll be looking at this screen and uh, then you can do a little jump of joy and be happy. So hit square um, and then we see refresh the game. Refresh your game. Uh, yeah, that one. Sometimes takes a minute. Yep. <laughs> we seem to have encountered an error. Retro. Okay, so uh, sometimes this happens. Of course, it's homebrew, and uh, <laughs> there are bugs. So we're gonna reset the PS3. That won't hurt anything. No. The PS3 is a surprisingly uh, robust little system. Like it, it wasn't in the middle of like a process or something that would no get fucked up by um, <clears throat> restarting it. No, I mean, I've reset I've reset it from uh, from worse conditions. <laughs> oh, like I'd be modding a game halfway through it, I write some incorrect code, and it just uh, freezes the entire bloody game. Um, and then I can just, uh, jump right back in and everything's perfectly fine. Uh, but once you get it loaded, uh, just so you can guys, you guys can see, we're gonna remove the actual physical disc from the, uh, disc tray. We're gonna go up here to Webman Games, uh, and you see right here, we have Skyrim, um, located in the dev hard drive slash games category. So all you gotta do is click X on that, and it automatically mounts it. And it's right there on the PS3. The disc is not in the hard drive. And then from here, it's just, uh, all you gotta do is run the game. I'm cut through this one again, too. <laughs> oh, God. Right, bro. We can... Oh, I love it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, so it... I thought I already installed the game data. Okay. Actually, that's a really good point. So, um, there's a difference between installing... like So, on the PS3, it stores data in two different locations. Mm -hmm. Typically, um, most games are optimized to install sections of the of itself to the uh, to the PlayStation 3's hard or hard drive to run faster. Um, and that's also how the game handles updates because you can't update the data that's on a disk. Um, so typically it will install everything onto a, a separate little portion of the hard drive. Uh, that's where this game data is going as well. Um, I can only think of a handful of games that don't install data directly to the hard drive unless it's an update um but yeah so of course this is going to take another hot minute and we are going to fast forward through that and catch up with you guys uh when that's finished a lot of waiting in this process huh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Come on, two percent. One hundred percent. Now it's gotta load the trophies. Fuck. Okay, so, I thank all of you that have stuck with us this far. What year is it? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that Skyrim is actually finally installed, you can actually play. Yay! My favorite part. <laughs> right. So, um... Oh. 
bitch. Sorry. So, <laughs> once that's installed, um, if mo most of you noticed that there were no uh, queues for for updates, um, most of the time they turn those flags off for these games. But if you really want to check for an update, hit triangle, go to check for update. Oh, and uh, more often than not, it'll say like there's an update available, and you just hit OK and it installs it. Anyway, <clears throat> down to the fun stuff. Well, I think it's fun. Uh, for those of you that enjoy uh, the modding, the cheating aspect of this, uh, there's a really cool program that I highly recommend uh, people check out. It's called Artemis. It's made by uh, a guy named DNA Workshop, uh, who's done a lot of a lot of work with the the net cheat engine. Like he built that up by himself, um, and it's an amazing little piece of uh, software. Um, but this is pretty much his console-based version of it. Um, anybody in the past that's ever used the Game Shark, uh, this will be pretty uh, pretty familiar for you. <laughs> like I said, just absolutely amazing, amazing uh, little bit of bit of a. Uh, software that this guy has created. Is that the Kingdom Hearts theme? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But these are all the games that he already has uh, loaded in. <laughs> Let's see if he's got a Skyrim one here. Seems pretty likely. That's a lot of games. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's T for the Oh, Elder the Elder Scrolls. Scrolls. There it is. <clears throat> huh? And here we go. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Let's so just you... turn on a couple things. So these are all just like a bunch of cheats immediately available. You just turn them on? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's just like, um... It is very much literally just like... Game Shark. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> That's all. Pardon me. So, let's see. How do they... How's the episode? Phew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So they all say okay. once. That means you just... That means that the code itself runs once. Uh, there are some games that require it to uh, run multiple times, etc. Um, but so with this, you got to back all the way out to the main menu, hit start game. <clears throat> and then you just go up here, and you can either run it from your hard drive or run it from uh, from a disk, which is a really nice feature. I will save you all the boring uh, bit of uh, loading in to the first save or the first game, and uh, we'll skip past most of that. So, uh, for you guys, it'll be an instant. For us, another uh, another eternity. <laughs> so yeah, see you in a minute. So unfortunately, uh, I couldn't really finish the video because when we first loaded up Skyrim, we started playing through. We got. Um, Actually, we didn't even get all the way through the intro scene. The PS3 shut off and uh, reset went straight to the recovery menu. I think the problem with it was once we enabled the cheats, um, it wrote a certain part of the memory that basically caused it to fail because we're trying to enable cheats uh, for objects and items that we don't have currently in the inventory. Um, so with that being said, uh, that part of the video won't make it. I'm sorry. Um, Keep checking back on the channel. I'm sure I'll release more videos with more mods uh, later in the future. But if, uh, if Skyrim is something that you would like to see modded in the video of it, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll make it happen. Thanks.